You ready? All right, here it goes. Uh-uh. You ready? Look at the camera. Look at, look at the camera. Good afternoon. My name is Prophetess Tammy Corney. Um, I'm a local bail bondsman in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, Tammy Corney Bail Bonding. Uh, this information is brought to you by Tammy Corner Bell Boy. This is my granddaughter. Her name is Sugar. Um, her name is really not Sugar. Her name is Crystalline Morel Corny. And I call her Sugar because when I first seen her uh, in the hospital, she looked so sweet and so precious. So that's why I call her Sugar. But again, welcome to TammyCorny.org uh, and Tammy Corny Bell Bonding. Today we're talking about imprisonment. Why did I become a bail bondsman? Well, being honest, I was looking for extra income. That's why I really became a bail bondsman. But after that, I realized that our family and our people really need a bondsman, and um, people get in trouble and get in bondage, and they need somebody to get them out. Amen. So I've been doing bail bit. I have been performing bail bonding business for over 10 years. So a decade. Sugar just said no. She said no. Is no sugar? <laughs> yes, I am a bell bondsman. Grandma bell bondsman? No. Grandma bell bondsman? Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna have a little activity with a little new grandbaby, and this is our first video together. But let's talk about what God says about imprisonment. Isaiah the 16th, first chapter, the first verse. It said, "The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me." Because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captivity. Yes, he did. And opening up the prisons to those who are bond. Amen. And that's what Bill Bonds must do. They open up. Yes, we do. We open up the prisons to those who are in bond. Amen. Amen. And we have Leviticus, the 24th chapter, the 12th verse, it say, And they put him in custody till the will of the Lord should be clear to him. Sometimes our family members, we have to go through something. Uh, when we go to jail, it's a lesson that we have to learn. Um, and it say, And they put him into custody until the will of the Lord should be clear to him. Sometimes we do things and we have no idea why we do it. In the little time that we sit in jail, our mind become clear that this is not a place for us, we shouldn't have did this, and we won't do it anymore. So we have to be disciplined. We're gonna to go to 2 Timothy, the second chapter, the ninth verse, and say, for which I am suffering, bound with chains, as a criminal. But the word of God is not Bond. Amen. The word of God is free. It is free of chains. Don't and it don't have any bonds. Amen. Uh, if you go to Acts, the 12th chapter, the fifth verse is say, So Peter was kept in prison, but honest prayer for him was made to God by the church. So we have to pray for our brothers and sisters. We have to pray for our family. We have to pray for our children. Prayer changes things. And again, Acts the 12th chapter, the 5th verse, it says, So Peter was bound in prison, but honest prayers for him was made to God by the church. When you pray, pray honestly. Don't pray looking for something in return. Do not pray with hatred. Do not pray for any other reason but honesty. Honesty prayer. So Peter was a Peter was kept in prison, but honestly prayers for him was made to God by the church. Amen? And let's Hebrew. Hebrew, the 13th chapter, the 12th verse. Remember those who are in prison as though in prison with them. And those who are mistreated since you also are in one body. Sometimes when our family members go to jail from doing something that we think is so stupid we get so angry, but we don't want anything to do with them.
because they constantly keep going back and back and back and they know right from wrong and they come from a decent family they come from a good family the mom and the daddy they live together they taught them right from wrong they went to church they came from a good family so the mother and father we, we kind of upset because you know better this is not how we do things i can't believe you did this and especially for the first first time the person never went to jail it's heartbreaking for the, the mother and the father but remember no matter how you raise your kids, no matter how you raise your kids, you have to leave them in God's hand. After you raise them, you did all that you could. Leave them in God's hand because we're gonna make mistakes. We're gonna have errors. You constantly pray. She said no. You constantly pray for them. And constantly pray, 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 and pray. And let God have his way. But let's go back to one that I mentioned. Okay, let's see which one was it is. It say Levit Leviticus the 24th chapter, the 12th verse. And they put him in the custody until the will of the Lord shall be clear to him. The will of the Lord to be clear to him. Look, you don't supposed to be out doing prostitution. You don't supposed to be out there stealing things. You see my baby say no. No, you don't supposed to. Nasty, no, no. No, no, you don't supposed to do that. That's right. Bad, bad, bad. You don't supposed to be out there stealing things. You don't supposed to be doing prostitution. You don't supposed to be selling drugs. Okay? So, all of those things are ungodly. So, Leviticus, the 24th chapter, the 12th verse, and they put him in custody until the will of the Lord should be clear to them. Amen? That's a few words from the Bible about imprisonment and the wrong that we do. But remember, no one is perfect. And... Christians is just sinners that fell down, but they got up. God is always good. He is always watching. He is always listening. He's always there for us. We just have to stop being of the world and just live in the world. God, you know we have to live in the world, but he don't want us to become like everyone else. I know it's hard and it's easy to say and hard to do. Amen? Yes. It's hard to do, sugar. Is it hard to do? Huh? Let's see what Sugar said. Is it hard to do? Ah, she says not hard to do. Live the way that God wants you to live. Amen? Should they go to prison? Huh? Should they go to jail and be bad, Sugar? No, they shouldn't be bad and go to jail, Sugar. No, my grandbaby, eight months years old, and she's telling you no. So thank you for visiting from Tammy Corny Bell Bonding, uh, Tammy Corny Ministry, TammyCorny.org, however you want to say it. God bless you and God be with you. And come visit us and, and we'll support you at Tammy Corny Bell Bonding. So if anyone that you love goes to jail, don't get upset. Give it to God and then call Tammy Corny Bell Bonding. That's T-A-M-M-Y-C-O-R-N-E-Y, Bell, B-A-I-L Bonding at TammyCornyBellBunning.org Thank you, God bless you, and God be with you. And me and Sugar and my grandbaby, my first grandbaby, is going to say thank you for visiting our website. And good luck, and see you soon. Bye-bye. Yay! Sugar! Mwah! We made our first video together, Sugar.